hello everyone hope you are doing good so this case was recently presented in the clinic with the chief complaint of pain and burning sensation on tongue and buccal mucosa as well and patient can't have food with any spices or salt so on doing intraoral examination white patches were seen on tongue bilaterally and on buccal mucosa as well so on examination it also revealed typical wickham stri on the lateral border of tongue and on both sides of buccal mucosa as well you can appreciate these wickham stri in the picture and you can see how it looks like so there are five p's of lichen planus if you guys want to know about it please let us know in the comment section we'll share a detailed presentation on lichen planus also so based on the history taken the provisional diagnosis was reticular lichen planus for this patient and after starting treatment lesion was completely healed on lateral sides of tongue and on buccal mucosa also and we followed a particular regime for oral lichen planus if you guys want to know about the same please let us know after this 12 days therapy lesion is healed and patient can have food with spices and salt and lesion would be subsided with this regime you can appreciate the pre and post operative photos of oral lichen planus additionally you should also check the volar wrist area of patient and knee and ankle area in which these papules can be present and in that case it will be known as cutaneous lichen planus so we should always consider to check these areas because in many cases it can be presented as papule white uretic patches on the surfaces and always ask patient for any burning sensation in their genital areas too so there are five important points you should always note for lichen planus first these basically occurs in female second they are they are mostly bilateral third they are seen in tongue palate and buccal mucosa fourth most cases are asymptomatic but burning sensation can also be presented for these patient and fifth it leads to post inflammatory pigmentation so differential diagnosis for this it can be lichenoid reaction frictional keratosis and leukoplakia So this is all about the case that was presented today and if you guys want to know about the medication we followed for this patient and anything regarding this patient you can let us know we will discuss about pathogenesis etiology and treatment plan we followed for this patient in the next presentation thank you